there's a couple of interesting things happening at the moment. I would love to talk about uh, the new so-called assault weapon bill being, uh, you know, addressed in Congress, at least in the state of Arizona. Yes, apparently the assault weapons here have gotten to be such a horrible point to where billionaires and millionaires and Senate and very well-off political figures are telling us, yeah, these are maybe the things you don't need according to what we say. But I am going to jump on the bandwagon that Hunter Avalon and Caitlin Bennett is putting themselves into. So Hunter Avalon, at least maybe three, four, maybe a week ago, I lost track. A week ago, I made a video about Caitlin Bennett because apparently shitting on Caitlin Bennett is a trendy thing to do. And Hunter Avalon basically called her an idiot. And Caitlin Bennett had the time to, you know, I guess, draw up uh, points that she wanted to rebuke or rebuttal in his video. Basically, this is what uh, she said. And you guys can go ahead and check out her most recent video about uh, her addressing Hunter Avalon. But here's my takeaways from this. Hunter Avalon... Oh, shit. Hunter Avalon isn't really a conservative. He's a free thinker. And if any of you have ever heard of the free thinker thing being tossed around by people who claim to be uh, free thinkers, they're really just liberals. Hunter Avalon uh, is a free thinker, whatever that means. What that basically just means, Hunter Avalon's opinions and opinions and views will change in the future, which is okay. I'm okay with that. That didn't bother me. What bothered me with Hunter Avalon is that he in the past have called conservatives to be stupid basically. And his thing was repeating the same talking points that conservatives hold to be uh, beliefs and truths, such as inner cities, such as gun control, such as liberals, and so on. And he went on several different podcasts to say that uh, he's repeated the same talking points that conservatives believe in. And he gets credit, he gets, um, he gets praised for it, and really... He's just repeating the same talking points by everyone who's a conservative or right of center. And he's doing it to prove that conservatives are stupid and don't believe in actual original beliefs and uh, thoughts. So, Caitlin Bennett, within the last couple of years, her beliefs and opinions and views haven't changed much. Hunter Avalon's opinions, beliefs, and views have a little bit. Uh, Hunter Avalon on his most earliest of uh, videos in his YouTube channel was um, basically talking about uh, education, 10 types of people, this, that, and basically they were meant to be entertaining videos, not to be sort of informative or political. He only re-evaluated his YouTube channel about after when the Trump presidency in 2016 presidential run for Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. The thing is, is he went from being funny and amusing to being political and completely centered around that. He has gone to some liberal protests and he's talked to people. And of course, he wears shirts that, you know, doesn't exactly say to those people at the protest what they're supposed to be talking about. They're just like getting a, 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 a knee jerk or a gut reaction from all those people. Like, uh, there's only two genders, which I totally agree, but people who believe that there are millions of genders, 58 genders, 72 genders, and the people that believe that there are more than two genders, people who believe there are more than two genders, aren't going to hold the same opinions and views, and their first thing they're going to do is call you a fascist, call you a sexist, call you a transphobe, call you a homophobe, and call you all these other sort of things. And Hunter, he, in these videos, I don't think he was looking at reasonable dialogue from these people by wearing shirts that say things contradicting to their point of view. Now again, I'm not a liberal, I'm not supporting anything of what these liberals do, but if you're there to talk to people, you probably shouldn't be saying, or not, not saying, you can say whatever the hell you want, but you probably shouldn't be wearing things that get a knee-jerk reaction to make liberals look bad, let themselves look bad from their own understanding and their own arguments. Let themselves look bad and you just act like a reasonable, sane person. Now, I'm not sure why Hunter 
Uh, he's probably, he might be an anti-gunner. I don't know what his problem is with women carrying weapons to protect themselves. And if Caitlin Bennett for one day uh, carry a slung AR-10 on her back for her graduation, I have no idea how that would affect people and how that would bother people. Me being a pro-gunner that I am, and me possibly being affected by all of these um, gun control bills in the state of Arizona. That's my cat. She, has, she loves me. So, I don't get what uh, Hunter Avalon's beef is with um, Caitlin Bennett. I mean, I guess she's an idiot. But Hunter did the same sort of thing that liberals like to do. They like to take sound bites or clips and cut it out. So it's basically 10 to 15 seconds of an entire video that is, you know, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 30 minutes long of a video. This is the same sort of thing the liberals did. In fact, this is the same thing that happened to uh, Candace Owens of Turning Point in the USA. When basically this one guy, this one liberal in, I believe, in a congressional hearing, tried making Candace Owens look bad by taking a soundbite of her saying that if Hitler just wanted to focus on making Germany good and didn't have sort of uh, plans or schemes of expanding Germany's borders to the entire world, then Hitler might have been a good person and he might have been a good leader. See, the thing is, when you take the context out of anything like that, it looks bad. It sounds bad. It, it appears to be bad, all right? But the thing is that when you take the context out of what these people say, okay, it looks bad. So when Caitlyn was in all of these things, and especially this thing that Hunter Avalon uh, said she's trying to make sure the internet doesn't see... Um, yeah, that's interesting. So, Caitlin Bennett uh, was apparently being harassed by an individual a year ago. Not even recently, a year ago. And some of these other things that Hunter Avalon has an issue with with Caitlin Bennett is a year ago. So, she goes to these protests to talk to people, and sometimes there's good, reasonable debate and dialogue. And sometimes she gets threats, she gets spit on, she gets uh, assaulted, she gets... All these things that Hunter Avalon is not going through because he's only been to a few of these uh, events where Caitlyn, it's her job to go to these things, right? So Hunter Avalon is calling her an idiot for her uh, argue, arguments uh, based around abortion in which people say, well, you should have been aborted, like late-term abortion. See, Hunter Avalon, Hunter, you're doing the same thing that liberals do. Liberals take sound bites out of a... 20 minute long, 30 minute long, an hour long clip, hour long video, and you're taking sound bites to make the other person look bad. You're discrediting and defaming that person based on what you see in 10 seconds out of a 6 to 30 minute long video. Liberals in Congress do this all the time. They've done it. This is not the first time. This is not at all unique to liberals, okay? They've done this before, and I'm sure it will continue to happen simply because these people have the freedom to do so. Now, if you're going to try to make someone look bad, the context of these videos have to be bad. They have to be bad in order for the person to be bad. And when Caitlin Bennett basically said, no, I'm going to go around talking to people, and yeah, obviously she should go around and talking to people. People telling her to shut the fuck up because they want to hear the speaker, yeah. Do uh, you honestly uh, think that telling someone to shut the fuck up is going to pan over very well? Or how about talking to someone at a pro-abortion rally or the Women's March and telling them that reproductive rights include things such as abortion, which seems counterintuitive. If you're going to say that people are stupid, you have to provide the context for their stupidity. Because Hunter, in your videos, you've taken context completely out. And if I look and I see that your video is still up, including that bit that Caitlin Bennett is trying to remove from the internet, which is not possible. If you're going to say that she's trying to remove this one clip of her talking to a kid who apparently survived abortion because she was born. By the way, that, that's a, you know, student union that's those Christians with the red sashes that go around on liberal campuses and try to provoke 
reasonable dialogue. If you're going to say that Caitlin Bennett is trying to remove that video of her uh, talking to the kid that the father in that video is using as an emotional propaganda for abortion, again, counterintuitive, kid was born, wasn't aborted, you can't use aborted fetuses to make an emotional argument that abortion is moral. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked here. So the problem with Hunter Avalon is he said Caitlin Bennett is trying to remove all those videos and copyright striking everyone and trying to remove all those from the internet. Which apparently is not true because Hunter Avalon included that in his video and Caitlin Bennett didn't try to take that down. By the way, in which case if Caitlin Bennett actually did try to take down those other videos, please provide proof other than just a... A, uh, a screenshot of a YouTube page that says, sorry. You know, that, that happened to me before when I've expressed very, very vocal opinions about extreme atheists. And it's kind of funny how that works. Can you just imagine the people are actually trying to silence opposing viewpoints and opposing uh, opinions are people who are most liberal? And if Caitlin Bennett is... Again, I don't think she's in media. I don't think a YouTube channel means you're in media, but what do I know? Uh, I really don't know a whole lot about this. But, Hunter, if you're trying to claim that she's removing uh, other content creators' videos from the internet because they're misusing her other uh, sound bites and video clips, if that's the case, uh, the last week I spent most of my time watching videos absolutely shitting on Caitlin Bennett and some of those people were mentioning her having a potty accident at a frat party again again if people are trying to make her look bad and if she really cared about her you know you know internet presence wouldn't she try to be taking down all these other videos that make her look like an idiot and trying to silence all those other opinions if she really was worried about her online presence. Hunter, you said some things, but you didn't back it up. You said some things, you didn't back it up. And again, if we're going to go to Twitter and we're going to go to Instagram, we're going to go all the social media about people and their true perspectives, then obviously, Hunter, you have to have the idea that Trump means everything he says on Twitter. And he's starting all these Twitter civil wars. You, you, look, not everything on the internet you have to take seriously. There is some silly shit out there. Anyways, that's it. I didn't mean for this video to get so long and not many people may uh, not watch it. But I hope you guys do all the way watch it to the very end. See you guys next time.